don't usually make these kind of videos. Um, it's not something I thought would be good for my channel. Um, it's not really what my channel I want my channel to be about. I usually would have ignored it and just said, you know, I just went about my day and uh, just continued to talk to you guys about video games. But after a while, someone says something so stupid, just so idiotic, that I can't, I can't ignore it. I have to say, you know, something. Um, if you don't know it already, I really like Doctor Who. And I'm sure by now you've heard the news that the next Doctor will be a woman. Which is actually something that's kind of becoming for a while now. Uh, it's not something that should be taken as a shock since the Doctor can regenerate, you know, in any form they want to. Um, the Master's done it in the form of Missy before in the past in Series 8 and 9. So this was just really the next logical step. Uh, it does kind of feel like pandering a little bit. But nevertheless, it's been coming for a while. And you know what? I'm okay with it. But uh, this brings me to Anita Sarkeesian. I really do think she does things like this just so people will make videos about her and boost her notoriety. Which is another reason I don't like making videos like this. I don't want to be seen as someone who's helping feed the machine that is feminist frequency, you know? There are any other fringe group out there trying to mainstream itself. The fact that anyone takes her seriously, and the fact that she's ended up on the Times list of most influential people, that's astonishing, guys. Just because of the garbage that comes out of her mouth. This is what happens when we try to pander to the fringe groups in our society, people. Nothing is ever good enough. She had a few things to say about the new doctor. And I am getting these, I am getting this story. I'm getting this story from the Washington Times. I'll link to it below. She says that it needs to be said that Doctor Who is still an overwhelmingly white show. Which is funny, you know, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the, the new companion is a woman of color, and at the very least bisexual, if not fully gay. And there's been other ones in the past. I just can't think of their names right off the top of my head, you know. Um, she says that it's not as if you fix the woman problem, then fix the race problem, then the queer trans problem, etc. It all happens, it all has to happen in tandem. So I assume that she wants a black transgender Doctor Who. You know, even after we have characters like Captain Jack Harkness, who went on the star of their own show called Torchwood. Um, and those are just a couple of examples that I could think of right off the top of my head, guys. Uh, leave a comment section below, you know, leave a comment in the comment section below about any other characters I'm missing or I might be forgetting. Um, I don't think Anita and anyone like her actually takes the time out to watch the shows or play the video games they criticize. They just jump on whatever is, you know, hot at the moment, whatever is trending on Twitter, being talked about on other social media sites, decide to open the big ass mouths and provoke attacks like this, or from other YouTubers like Sargon, and play the victim and rinse and repeat, you know. I believe that's really what's going on. It keeps them relevant. It keeps them in the news. It keeps them going. Uh, it keeps their money in their pocket. You know? Uh, I don't really like making videos like this. Because I don't I don't want to commit YouTube suicide. Like right before, you know... Um, right before I get a chance to actually even be a YouTuber. But... I'm so sick and tired of this political correctness in our culture these days. I'm just so sick and tired of it. And this was just like the nail, you know, this, this is like the straw that broke the camel's back right here. And, um, I'll go back to making video game, you know, commentary videos and stuff, you know, tomorrow. But for right now, you know, um, even though this shines more of a light on a disturbed individual, 
and gives her more fame and notoriety. I had to say something, guys. Um, it was just so stupid I had to, you know. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh, any other companions or characters I'm missing from Doctor Who, you know, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll go back to making game videos tomorrow, guys. Um, this is Jesse James King from 8-1 Studios signing out.